Hello and welcome to Hudson League Anna Match Day 29. This is an odd uh, match day, an odd show, because we have uh, three postponed games in a weird decision, I would say, from League Anna, because the three teams involved in European competitions are going to rest uh, this weekend uh, just to support them. It's a bit weird. Uh, Alain Balnegre, we are not going to see, for instance, PSG after the defeat at home against Barcelona in the Champions League. Yes, but I think it's the first time uh, a league do uh, a similar things to lock the game uh, with the team uh, are playing in uh, European uh, competition uh, is important for France because the next season uh, a lot of things will be changed in a uh, European competition and France is fighting now to catch the fourth position for the champions and it's for that uh, reason that take that that uh, type of decision uh, we will be check the next week if uh, the results are positive or uh, negative Exactly. Well, uh, Monaco, Lille, Lorient, PSG, Marcel, Nice. All these three games uh, are postponed, uh, will be played in 10 days. So, guys, remember, we are back on YouTube. Uh, so don't forget to leave your comments, to follow us, to tell your friends that we are back. Uh, we uh, were always on Twitter, on X. So remember to follow us in that uh, social network. Uh, and now let's go on with the show. First game on Friday, Mets Lance. Mets penultimate in the standings, three points away from Lorient, lost to Brest 4 uh, 3 after another big defeat against uh, Monaco 5 2. Lance Allen in bad form. We expected them to beat Le Havre at home, but they drew, they lost to Lille and Nice. They probably they have lost the train of the Champions League next season. Yes, probably, probably, but they need uh, they need to win. They need to win. There will be meet a match with uh, a lot of defensive problem. That one is the news because in the in the last two games they received nine goals, and most of part of the season Mets have problem with the goal, but not with the defensive phase because it's a team built with that uh, strengthness. Uh, without the, the ball and play in transition. And they lose that. And uh, against team are really fast and aggressive in, in transition, they suffer. And Lance have that t type of, of skills. Lance suffer when they must to elaborate the, the game. But when they can run, Lance is, uh, is stronger than, uh, than Mess. They need to win, to cut that uh, bad uh, bad streak. And I think Lens will be winning in Mess next Friday. Uh, uh, Lens winning at 1.80. Well, with the win, uh, they will be three points below Lille, with uh, Lille with one game in hand. Uh, on Saturday, two games, Strasbourg. Rheim and now the problems with the relegations for Strasbourg are over. They have a good cushion with the relegation. Seven points, drew with Toulouse, beat Rhin and Nantes before uh, that uh, draw. Rheim looking to European uh, spots. Uh, Allen, two consecutive draws, Nice and Lyon. is only one win and three draws in the last four games, but... They have kind of an easy schedule because after this game they have Montpellier and Clermont, so there are options to go to Europe. It's a really difficult game to, to predict. I think uh, Strasbourg is, is a young team. I said that from the beginning of the of the season and uh, we saw different moment of the season of, uh, of Strasbourg. Um, after the the game against Monaco, when, when uh, they lose, they cut the negative uh, streak. Streak. They won two games really important against Adrenal and in not because at this moment of the season it was a really delicate uh, game. 
they'll catch a really good point in in Toulouse in the in the last game is two games without concede goal and that one is the best news for uh, Patrick uh, Patrick Vieira when they played at home we know Strasbourg is uh, always uh, really strong but Reims is a, is a team really really strange because from the beginning of the season they catch point in the in the most difficult stadium in uh, in Ligue 1. they catch uh, a really good draw in uh, in Lyon in the in the last game away they catch a draw in uh, Paris Saint Germain and not a lot of team can um, take point in uh, in Paris they won in Monaco away is a uh, is a team have a, a best uh, a best average of points respect uh, when they played uh, away. For this game, I I don't choose one x two. Mm. I choose both team to score. Odds one point seventy five. Both team uh, uh, had a really high average of uh, both team to score from the beginning of the season. Well, Reims is the third team actually with the best uh, both teams to score and Strasbourg the fifth. Uh, so statistically is a good option uh, other two teams uh, with a high uh, percentage of both teams to score are Gan and Toulouse fourth and sixth in this uh, table of both teams to score uh, Alain uh, the odds for Gan to win 1.9 once upon a time at home was a good option but now it's very difficult to trust. Uh, Gan is another team that uh, is losing the train to Europe, lost to Monaco, lost to Strasbourg, out of Coupe de France against uh, PSG and Toulouse. Can be a dangerous team, especially away from home. It's five wins this season away from Toulouse. Yes, the last 10 days are really bad for, uh, for uh, Ren. Is the Ren of the beginning of the season. The, a team with a lot of problems. With a lot of problem, uh, uh, especially with the with the goal, three games without score. When we have uh, the squad have Ren, Ren, Ren are, are a big talent, in uh, especially in the in the midfield line and the, in the attacking uh, line, and three games without a goal. We don't know uh, if it's an accident or that they can uh, they can cut that uh, bad moment. And uh, start again to winning to try to fight for a European spot because yes, there are nine in the table, but only four points under Lens, uh, who is uh, the Conference uh, League um, spot. Toulouse is in a be- better moment. Better moment. Toulouse suffered a lot uh, playing in Europe. Because it's not a squad uh, build uh, to play every every three days, mm. but from the beginning of two, 2024, the average of point uh, change. They show um, they can play against every team. Remember, they won against Liverpool in uh, in Europa League, and for this game, I see I see goal. I predict uh, goal over 2.75 goal odds 2.10. Okay, goals, uh, the odds for Gun to win 1.9 are not good to take uh, considering the recent form from the team in Bretagne. And uh, on uh, Sunday, we have three more games. Le Havre Nantes is the first one uh, important for the relegation. Both teams with 28 points, two more than uh, Lorient. Le Havre surprised us with the draw against Land, but their form uh, is pretty poor. Um, they lost, for instance, to Montpellier. O Clermont for uh, Nantes uh, is for defeats in the last five games. Uh, wow, this is difficult yes. to trust. <laughs> I agree, but in the last four four games away, they won three. Mm-hmm. They're, they're lose only in uh, in Marseille. Yeah. They're one in Nice. They're one in Lorient. They're one in Toulouse. It's two really delicate, uh, delicate uh, game. It's the best best version of of not is away, and with that average point away, um, right now the the team are out of the relegation uh, relegation spot. Now Loav is in a really bad streak. They cut them 
in uh, in loss with a, a very good uh, draw, especially for the for the head because the the team was a uh, in a bad moment, the worst moment from the beginning of the season. It's strange because they have in the content is is a team with a, um, a clear uh, identity. They play a very good football. Uh, but when do you start to lose one, two, three games? Uh, we know uh, uh, that type of uh, of moment in the in the football. Uh, um, now, it's not the last call for not, but not must to catch point. Must to catch point because we saw not when they're playing La Bourgeois uh, with a uh, average of uh, a relegation team, and I think not can be catch a point in uh, in Le Havre. Two X no bet. Odds 2.05. Well, remember that uh, Logian is not playing this weekend, uh, so very important uh, for the winner of this game to stay in league. And for Sunday, 3 p.m., Clermont, Montpellier, Clermont, bottom of the table, a huge uh, surprise, the point they got at the Parc de Prince, uh, but perhaps uh, is uh, something unexpected and something anecdotic. Uh, they are still five points away from salvation. Montpellier is three wins in the last four games. Uh, do you trust Montpellier here? I, tr I trust Montpellier scoring. Mm -hmm. Because Montpellier um, in offensive uh, phase uh, in his uh, relationship with the goals, they do a very good season. I think uh, the table is liar respect to the table of uh, of Montpellier. In, in the content, uh, we saw very good game uh, the, of Montpellier from the beginning of the season. And I think Clermont, it was an accident. The, the draw in uh, in Paris, Paris was focused to the to the Champions League uh, game. Uh, in the synopsy, if uh, they played 10 times uh, this game, Paris won 10 times the, the game. But with that, maybe um, that can change something in the mind of the of the player of, uh, of Clermont. It's the last call. Clermont is the, is the last call because if there doesn't catch point in, uh, against uh, against Montpellier, it will be it will be really hard to to save. Um, to save the spot in uh, in Liga. In spite uh, of uh, of that, uh, I choose over 8.5 corner for uh, for these games uh, because the odds are interesting. And in the average of corner per game um, per per team, we arrive to to nine nine point five over 1.5 corner odds 1.80. It will be very difficult for Clermont to stay in Ligue 1. And the last game on Sunday, the best game at the weekend in France, Lyon-Brest, because Lyon, they turn the season completely around. They are in the Coupe de France final and in Ligue 1. They are in a good position as well. Ten points out of the last 12. Uh, so they are ending the season on a hype. Uh, whereas Brest, they keep winning. And uh, winning to play next uh, year. The Champions League beat Mets and Lorient in the last uh, two games. Uh, they have right now four points more than Lille. Alain Balnegri. <laughs> But Lyon in the last 10 games is the team uh, who's made more points in, uh, in Ligue 1. 10 games, 22 points. Paris Saint-Germain have uh, two points less respect to, uh, uh, to Lyon. Uh, Lyon is um, another team. We saw two versions of Lyon uh, this season. The depressed team from the beginning of the, of the season and uh, a dominant uh, team in the second part of the season with a very good uh, market. The team in Europe spent more money during the the market in uh, in January, uh, and with uh, Saj in the, um, in the bench, uh, the team found his uh, his rhythm, have an identity, and have a lot a lot of talent. Uh, uh, it's interesting games to understand uh, the value of, of Brest. Brest uh, still in a comfortable second uh, position. 
but it's only four points with respect to Lille, who marked the, um, the the line of the spot for the for the champions. Uh, Brest in the last game they won the, the derby. They show they're able to win a game with more than one goal score because the most frequently score um, for Brest this season it was the 1-0 and they go to, to Lyon to, to catch a point. In spite of that, I think Lyon have the quality, have the skills uh, and the mentality to win the game. Odds are really interesting. Lyon winning odds 2.25. Very good game to finish this match day, this short match day in France. We will have uh, much more games the following week uh, to analyze. Uh, Alain, your safe bet? Ren to lose over 1.75 goals, odds 1.34. And Yoraka? Metz, Lens winning. Strasbourg, Reims, both team to score. Ren to lose over 2.75 goals. Le Havre not X, no bet. Uh, thanks, Alain Balnegri. Thanks, everyone, for watching. See you very soon. Bye-bye.